Ben 7 oh, I, I, I thought the Pacers were great. Kimberly, what's up? Hi, Dan. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You? I'm doing well. Good. What's up? Um, I was at the Pacer game last night. I was about 100 feet away from you. Yeah? And um, my boyfriend pointed you out to me, and my heart sank because I wanted to tell you something. Uh-oh. Um, security wouldn't let me get close to you, and when I went downstairs to the legend store, you'd already left. Okay. Um, 28 years ago, in this past March, you played what would be considered the most fantastic um, game of your college career against North Carolina, or more importantly, Michael Jordan. Yes. Um, I come from a long line of IU fans. Yes. And so my mother and father were listening to or watching the watching the game, and um, I was I was 13, and I was trying to go to bed. And all I could hear was my father and mother cheering for you and uh, very happy. And even after the television was turned off, they continued to cheer. And um, I fell asleep. And three hours later, my father died. Oh, wow. And um, I just wanted to really thank you for working your tail off in that game because that's the last thing I remember my father doing or saying was elation and cheering for you um, during that game. And I can still close my eyes and hear that to this day. And I really wanted to tell you face to face last night, but I didn't get a chance to. So I wanted to call you today and tell you thank you. That game meant as much to me as it did to you. Wow. Um, I wish they had let you come tell me that in person. That is, that is uh, really nice of you to share with me, and I, I appreciate it. I'm so sorry for your loss of your father. A 13-year-old girl should have her dad in her life for a long, long time. And I'm, I'm very, very, I'm very appreciative of you sharing that story. I got goosebumps as you were telling me. I did, and, and uh, I did, and, and I wish they had allowed, you know, uh, I wish they'd let you come in there, or I wish I'd have stayed longer and had the chance to meet you and, and uh, I'll give you a hug, but that's very, very nice, and, and uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry for your loss more than anything. Like I said, a 13-year-old girl does, should never lose her father until, you know, whenever. So I, I thank you very much. I really, we really appreciate it. Like I said, that game means as much to me still to this day as it did, I'm sure, to you. Then I'm very, I'm very appreciative of that of that that moment, those last moments that I heard from him were joy and elation from the game. Well, that's a good memory then. Thanks. Well, I thank you very much. Thanks. Bye-bye. I don't know what to say. I mean, I don't I don't know how to follow that up. I mean, that's that's kind of it's interesting. You know, as I'm listening to that story, one of the great things about Coach Knight was he would always tell us of when you didn't play hard or you didn't play well, how much Indiana basketball means to people that you don't even know. He always was talking about that. He was always saying that. He was always like, you, you have no idea. Uh, and I thought I did. But, you know, you never really do. And the effect that Indiana basketball has on uh, people amazing it really is it, it truly is amazing and you just um, you just heard it right there I mean it's I, I you know um, that's that's kind of a you know it's just it's an affirmation of what you know coach Knight always, he, he did he always told us you never know you, you, you don't you don't have any idea how much uh, um, impact Indiana basketball has on the people of Indiana or people across the country that went to Indiana and I guess that's a that's the best example I have uh, uh, ever come across I wish that you know I, so you know like I don't have security so it's not like you know I had any you know we just went to the game sat people were great they came up all the time we were taking pictures we were laughing with different people and you know, when the game was over, I, I, I just leave. So I don't, you know, I got an email here saying, why do you travel with security? I don't. I was, I, I wasn't, it wasn't that. We were in this one part. And I just wish the guy, I wish I would have saw her.
probably start crying truthfully because I'm a, I'm, I'm a soft guy for that kind of stuff. What a great stuff. I wish we got her name. Kimberly, right? Yeah. That's unbelievable. I gave me goosebumps. Because when it heard any, I want to tell you something, 28 years ago, there was a lot of ways that that conversation could have gone. If you really, you really want to know the truth, I mean, I'm telling you. But I'm glad it went, well, I'm not, in a way, I'm not glad that a 13-year-old, 13-year-old girl lost her dad. Uh, we'll come back. You can hear your favorite interview from Grady and Big Joe, Dan Dockett.